And I'm Scott Reitz. I'm the primary firearms tactics instructor for International Tactical Training Seminars, better known as ITTS out of Los Angeles, California. I was on the LAPD from 1976 until 2006. I served over 26 years of my time in the Elite Metropolitan Division. I was also in SWAT for approximately 10 years, both as an instructor as an operator. What the knife attack does, it replicates real world speed, closure rates, visual lag times, and the mechanical application of a pistol in conjunction with artificially induced light. You have to be able to make what we call discriminatory target selection, whether it's in fact a shoot or a no shoot target. I have to effectively apply pure line clean mechanics. That means using the flashlight beam so it's on the target, using the pistol in clean lines so I can achieve center mass hits right out the gate. And if you do this quickly, it's very smooth, but it takes a long time to perfect flawless lines. And in the last 27 years when I've been defending officers, I've had many dozens of cases where officers have had to utilize a flashlight in conjunction with a firearm in order to stop a threat of this nature. One simple mistake and it's all over. And that's why it's so imperative that you work in conjunction with a high quality flashlight, lots of lumens. I like as many lumens as I can get out there. I need to be able to discern the threat, whether it's a viable threat or not, whether I need to engage it or not. Most people get their clocks cleaned on this when they start out. After they've learned, after they've experienced it, that we're looking at as a quantum leap in performance.